Greetings, Starseeds and Lightworkers. Ava here. And today we have a question from Karina. And she asks, can you talk about the timelessness of relationships and what getting caught up in the matrix does to our ability to relate consciously in sacred partnership? Or does that even affect us? So I think I kind of understand the question. We're going to just go ahead and let Diana take this one and roll with it. Um, it's a really beautiful question. I think she's talking about it feels like the energy of the question is is kind of about you know knowing people over lifetimes and the timelessness of that of these relationships and these agreements we make with certain souls to to keep coming back and working things out together right and how does this 3d matrix affect that our ability to really do that and see each other and i think that's the essence of the question we're going to go out and see what diana has to say and those of you who are new welcome Daina of the Pleiadian family, and we are here to bring the love. Oh, we love this question because it's really tapping into the essence of the love, you see. You want to know about the, the frequency of mm, relationships in the what you call the timelessness. We like we like how you how you phrase that because you, you are in the three dimensions, you see, and so it feels timeless. And it's the, the best way, the most poetic way you can use to describe this feeling of 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 knowing someone with within without the bounds of this three dimensionality that you know so well, and then you bring it back into the three dimensionality, and you ask the other part of that question, which is, when you are in this three D world, how does that affect it? You see, because you can feel the vastness of the relationship. You see, and many of you have experienced this. You have met someone, or you have um, even if you are not with them currently, you, you have you have you have been in, in interaction with someone who feels like um, either a soulmate or a twin flame or a um, a sacred sacred union or just a part of you or someone that you just have that that instantaneous connection with or someone that you just can't seem to to put a finger on it but you you just feel like you know them you you, you just you just connect immediately you see and so um, we have these these moments often in our life whether we are conscious of it or not because we we generally move through the different timelines with with the same souls you see oftentimes it is a, a part of our own soul you see a lot of times we will split the soul into different forms you see in order to achieve different goals and this is a, it's a whole other topic which we've touched on in other other episodes you see a little bit but it is something that we 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 overlook a little bit when it comes to twin flames. It might have been in the one about the soulmates and the twin flames. We talk a little bit about how how the soul splits at times. You see, and it does not always do this, but parts of the soul can can break off for just a little bit to have an experience on one particular timeline. And then mm, meet that other part of themselves, and sometimes you need to have it be in a separate form in order to really get the lesson, so to speak. And then you have others that really are two separate, completely separate fractals that come together. You see, for that mm, that union and that co-creation, time and time again, you see, over and over on the different timelines, you see. And so when you feel into the timelessness of a relationship, what you are experiencing is the remembrance of this particular frequency of another. It's something that you know, something you are familiar with. Why? Because it is something that is playing out on multiple timelines in multiple dimensions in this very moment. So it feels timeless because it is all in the now. And so it is timeless in the sense it is, is in the, the present moment always. And you are really having a, um, a different version, but in the same context of this person time and time again. And maybe it has a little bit slightly different ending in a different timeline or different dimension. But you are, are really pl choosing to play this out all, all with this, the same person, you see. And so as that comes down into the third dimension, how, do you, how does that affect it, you see? It affects it in a certain way in the sense that you are still playing it out, you see. And the density of dimension number three, you see, is such that it is easy to forget 
why you come together. It is easy to forget um, the, the, the soul contract, so to speak. It is easier to forget um, the, the, all the other ways that you know each other and, and from where and, and, from, and why, you see. And so all these other places that are playing out. And these are what you would consider in your three-dimensional timeline past lives. You see, but in reality, it is not a past life because it is all in now. It's all happening right now. So what is actually happening is you are tuning into the different dimensions of consciousness that are playing out with this particular soul of consciousness, this particular particular version of, of, of a fractal of creation. These two souls have come together to, to do the dance, you see. And so when you're coming into the third dimension, it is a much denser. It's much denser. And so what that, that does is it creates more opportunity to experience love within polarity. And this is really why most humans come to the earth in particular is because it is the biggest opportunity to experience the fullness of love because it is much easier when you are a Pleiadian and you are in a ninth or, t or twelfth dimension or anything like that. You see, it is it's a, the, the veil is so thin and it is very much the love frequency. There is not much of the other side of the, the what you call the dark or the chaos. You see, it is much more the love and the light. And so when you are working within that, when you come back down to 3rd D, you have a very polar experience. You have very much light and very much dark. And so when you are working in the energy and the frequency of love within both of those polarities, it, it creates the, the biggest opportunity for the heart to expand and to feel the love even in the pain and even in the, the bliss, you see, on both sides of it. You get to experience both, you see. So this is the beauty of it, you see. And so that is a little bit about the timelessness, the, 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 the dimensionality, the multidimensionality of love, you see. We hear of us children. Maybe one day you will get to meet of us children, you see, in, the, in one of the future episodes, you see, because sometimes they like to come and talk to Diana and sometimes they have fascinating questions as well. You see, so you can leave in the chat if you would like to um, to hear from the children, you see, because sometimes they, they have um, very much an interesting conversation to have with the, the Pleiadians, you see. So that would be a fun thing to do in the future if you are interested in that, you let us know. So very good question around the relationships, and we love you all very dearly, and we will we'll see you all very soon. Blessings. <coughs> <coughs> Ah, oh, I trust that that message was exactly what you needed to hear today. And if you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, share it with those that you love. And thank you so much for being a part of this community. And I hear my children. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah, I hear them. They're just back. So we'll go ahead and let them, let them play. And I love you all so much. And we'll see you all next week. And if you have a question for Diana yourself, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Or you can also head over to the website and leave it there. All right, we'll see you all next week. Blessings.